Hi, this is a, a video review of uh, my good friend Vivek Agnihotri's latest book, Who Killed Shastri? We all watched the movie and now uh, he has come up with this book, Who Killed Shastri? Uh, you know, typically there is, uh, there is a book and then there's a movie. Um, and here we have a situation where we have the movie and then the book. So, you know, you would ask, uh, how does this work? You also have situations wherein you have a classic, that's, uh, that's uh, a, a classic movie. And then you have a documentary on the making of that uh, classic. Well, uh, Hukil Shastri uh, is, is a combination of these two. Uh, it is the, the movie Tashkent Files, we've all seen, we've appreciated one of the finest movies. And uh, this, this book, Hukil Shastri, is about the making of that movie. But more importantly, it's actually a, a, a book, uh, I would call it as a, uh, I would call it as a, a book in the spiritual genre. Uh, because it's actually uh, the making of Vivek. Uh, uh, and and, and uh, less about the movie because in the process of making this movie he himself is transformed and uh, his spiritual uh, awakening has happened the three elements to this book uh, one is about Lal Bahadur Shastri and the mystery behind his death so there's details about that the second is the actual uh, uh, anecdotes about an actual story about researching for the book and uh, researching for the film and then making the film. Um, Tripti, Doxa, uh, Pallavi, Vivek, all the four uh, members and how they work towards uh, making that movie. So you have uh, that narrative. But the more important narrative, and that's why I call this as a spiritual book, is how Vivek's father has influenced him through his diary and the way he deftly weaves various quotations, various diary notes of his father and integrates that into this book is, is, is something which is very, very touching. You, when you actually read the book, you will see it's a very, very creatively weaving together these three strands uh, um, of, of of the book. So I I I, I read it in uh, you know very in one go in in the sense that in in read it very fast in two days time, and it was an overwhelming uh, feeling for me personally, because um, it, way back on in tenth of May. Uh, 2016, I reached out to Vivek and I'll just read out from that email. So I, I write to him on May 10th, 2016. Vivek, I just got this idea. Why don't we publish a book on the making and marketing of Buddha in a traffic jam? The whole experience of making the movie and marketing it the way you have done is something unique. No other filmmaker had to go through what you have done. After a month or so from now, when you have some respite from all the travel, we can have a writer from our group who will spend some time with you, interviewing you and taking down notes and it can be produced as an ad, as told to travelogue kind of a book. A narration of the whirlwind of experiences you went through. It will be a case study in itself and will also be a huge boost to the narrative. Thoughts? This was the mail that I sent to him on 10th May. Subsequently, we got chatting and then I was more and more convinced that he should write a book. And then I said, I packed him off and I said, look, you, 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 if you're going to stay in Goa, uh, if you're going to stay in Bombay, uh, you're, you're not going to write this book. You need a break and take a break and, and go, to, uh, go to a place. We looked at different options and then I said, go. So he spent 15 days in, in Goa and then he wrote uh, the first draft of Urban Excels and then after some more time he, he finished the draft. 
and uh, that we we all know what happened to that so it's it's a classic it's probably the first book uh, uh, on the non left side talking about the left and it, in, in 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 it's truly uh, it's become a meme it's become um, you know even prime minister narendra modi used that term so it's 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 now a part of our common lexicon and and that's history that was created and and that was a journey again uh, from uh, from that idea that you know you need to you need to write a book about the making of buddha in traffic jam and that resulted in in uh, in urban excel and then uh, you he he then with one single tweet about you know october 2nd and lal bahadur shastri's birthday and then the whole journey of this tashkent files and and this book uh, resulted in, in this book i i uh, i am extremely proud of uh, what uh, vivek has been able to achieve you know he's he's there he's there on the on 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 social media he's there now he has a vr tv is is doing uh, uh, his uh, school for uh, creativity uh, i mean he's a he's he's ex, his energy levels are extraordinary i mean uh, uh, i can't even Uh, I I have not seen anybody else who is so multifaceted. You know, he he was is doing so many things, and yet be creative, because what happens if you are on the social media, um, you, you know, you are facing uh, all kinds of uh, you know abusive trolls or whatever that happens there, and uh, so if you want to be creative, then you you know you you need to cut that emotion out there and then again uh, regenerate yourself. I I I personally am not capable of that kind of uh, thing and I find that quality in him is authentic is very authentic I mean if you read this book you will see his voice uh, you know you will hear his voice you will hear his father's voice flowing through him so that's the kind of authenticity he brings to it and then he's extraordinarily creative you know this whole thing about uh, the climax of the Tashkent files uh, the way it was uh, constructed and the, and the kind of uh, uh, the kind of thinking that had to go through and and he was not getting the ideas because any movie and any any story you know we need to have you know is a three part structure for any movie so you have the the opening the middle the closing and then you have to have a conflict and 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 the resolution of the conflict so that's a standard kind of thing and uh, he was grappling with this for quite some time as to where is the conflict where is the resolution you know we don't know who who is the, it's a who done it but we don't know who has done it so how do we uh, end it and finally uh, in this entire journey he comes up with this uh, uh, with this framework of right to truth i mean that's an extraordinary uh, uh, you know it's an extraordinary very very deep and profound uh, uh, statement and 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 i think the right to truth right it's not right to information it's right to truth and i think that's a very very a uh, profound uh, uh, realization a moment of epiphany that he had and uh, and then uh, then the way he you know there's pressure you know how do we resolve this we are we are so far down and then he comes up with this uh, this this climax uh, and 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 then he 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 hands the film um it was it's just an extraordinary experience and just to understand that journey uh, that creative journey the spiritual journey this book uh, you should read even though you have seen the movie and you love the movie that's fine but, but this book you should read to understand the creative and spiritual journey of uh, of of a person and the inner transformation that you can actually uh, feel so i very strongly um, urge you to um, uh, go ahead and uh, buy a copy uh, we are going to actively uh, promote this book um, uh, on behalf of indic book club also we are we are sending it to a curated list of uh, people and i think this is this is a classic tashkent files was a classic hokal shastri is a classic too and 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 this should be uh, uh, you know the best seller for for weeks to come i mean everybody who is interested in you know in changing the Uh, who is interested in seeing a change in the narrative uh, should should actually read it because 
the other thing that uh, you know i constantly call it, tell people to get off uh, social media because you know it's a it's a it's a conspiracy by the left to ensure that we all are busy and uh, 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 not using our time productively uh, this is this is something this 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 book will give you a perspective on how you can see how you can transform yourself uh, you know, uh, I, I, I constantly keep saying this, saying that don't seek to change the narrative. Seek to change, transform the narrator. And in, in, in this instance, uh, you can actually see the narrator, uh, Vivek, uh, getting transformed. And you can actually feel it, you can see it, you can hear it. Uh, and, and it's an amazing journey. So please, all of you should get inspired and and have your own stories and and you should seek to transform yourself and you know uh, when when uh, the first copy of urban excels was released uh, was out uh, he wrote a nice uh, uh, sort of a note for me and he said everybody needs a hurry in his life and i found mine i think uh, I, I want to put it back to vivek and saying that everybody needs viveka you know the ability to discriminate uh, you, you know uh, their time and usage of time and how how to s transform themselves discriminate between the real and the unreal so the, the 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 social media and all that is unreal and what is real is actually the inner journey and that vivek and that viveka uh, through this book you will you will find so i i encourage all of you to to buy this book and read this book and make it a, a cult classic all over again thank you